so for the last two months or so, I've been working hard to essentially terrain sit form my backyard. Uh, to give you a little backstory here, the area you're looking at right now was, was all grass. This was all grass. Um, we put in a patio about three months ago and you can see that the, you know, the slope down from the, the house down to the fence there is, is really steep. And uh, when we put the patio in, it actually made the slope steeper. So the slope was about 15 degrees after we're done. Um, I will, I'll bring up a image here that shows you kind of the before from about a month ago, um, what we were looking at before I got in there and um, infilled a bunch of a bunch of dirt. So where did I get the dirt? I actually um, dug up a bunch of grass. Every every all, everything here was was dug up grass. And uh, I covered the better part of my yard <laughs> with that grass. You can see here that uh, um, I would lay out cardboard and dig up the grass, put it there. I've actually used most of the new grass. I've got a pile here that's fairly recent. So what do I do with the grass? Um, I actually used it to build up, to build up kind of the pathway here, and also to create a berm that you see. This will be covered in plants at some point. Um, rocks. I've got a lot of rocks. Where did I get these rocks? I actually um, repurposed them from over here. We have a pond, kind of a random goldfish pond in our backyard. I've, I've removed the fish, actually have them in an aquarium, but a uh, previous owner had um, kind of lined it with probably a couple pallets of sandstone moss rock, they call it. So I've been able to repurpose that. I'll just take you along for a little walk here, um, about halfway through the, the hardscaping. So I just, uh, the rocks are not as regular as I would like, so I have to make some compromises in terms of, um, I like to use your know, very like sized rocks and like color rocks when I build these hardscapes, but that's okay. Um, this is all sandstone, then I kind of transition into to granite here, like this is a, a little uh, rock slide or something. And as you get to the steepest part of the, of the slope here, I actually repurposed some uh, pavers. So we've got pavers here that allow me to go uh, you know, more or less vertical to create this retaining wall. Um, still a little bit of a work in progress, but uh, you know, what we've got here now is more or less a, a pathway. Here's our patio. We can walk now back um, along the outside of the patio. This wasn't even possible before. It was actually hazardous to walk on this side slope. Now I can push a mower or push a wagon, whatever I need along this slope. It makes my wife happy. So anyway, uh, you know, nothing revolutionary here, just a little tour um, about midway through this hardscaping and terrain forming project. Um, love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, it'll be more interesting when I certainly get plants in there, but that's not going to be for a while. I, uh, stretch goal, I would like to finish this by, say, um, late July to early August. And in Colorado, you can plant in, um, you know, mid to late August would be considered kind of the late summer to fall planting. So if you're disciplined, you can get some plants in the ground. So wish me luck. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, uh, we'll see you in the next one.